anyway um yeah so my cousin actually she's from overseas and she was talking to me about doing um like a halloween look and she's like oh you should really do one on your channel so i thought it'd be a great idea i did also post something on my instagram and um a lot of you guys said yes so I'm gonna go do one today. This is my first ever one, so, and I am a bit sick, so that's why my voice sounds a bit nasally, so I'm sorry in advance. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do a really, like, cat-inspired, um, but really glittery, glossy, like, full-on glam, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna prep the eyes first. I'm just gonna get my Tarte Concealer. Just putting a little bit on the back of my hand. And we're just gonna be dabbing that just there. Just like that. And I'm just using a beauty blender. Um, I just feel like it's easier. Okay, and I'm just gonna quickly set it. Um, I've never tried setting it with the Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder, but I'm gonna give it a go. I completely forgot I had this. Um, I do love it because it's so fine, like it literally is just amazing. So we're just going to be dabbing that on, taking one of these Morphe brushes and I am going to be going in with the shade Truffled. I'm going in with the shade Truffled um, and I'm just using the back of this brush, just kind of getting it in there. And then we're just going to kind of make like a crease because we do want to look like a cat. So, and I'm going to make it a bit more Arabian cat. I was going to say creep, but whatever. And we're going to start from the inner corner. I am as well taking this below my actual crease. Because um, I want it to be a bit more like cat effect. And I'm just... I am bringing that like really far and I'm just going to blend that inwards and I'm going to use the black shade from the palette and we're just like taking that mainly on the tip because that's what we need it for and then I'm going to go over that line with the black shade but I'm like dabbing it. Same to the other side. To the side again because it does have a bit of the brown pigment and we're just gonna slightly blend that out. It doesn't matter how far back you go. The NYX white liner and I'm actually gonna do a wing but it's gonna be a really small one. So you just wanna go as close to your lash line as possible. Just like that. Sorry, I had to like go super, super close. And don't worry, so I kind of brought it really in and I just did a little wing, but I left the black shading like obviously more. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye, then we'll get right into it. Guys, both eyes are done, so we're just gonna put the white eyeliner away because we don't need it at the moment, but we do need, I'm not gonna go in with a black liner. I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Sparkle. And what I'm gonna do, it's like a, um, it's not even that dark, but it's kind of like a gray. And what I want to do is I'm going to go over this with the black eyeshadow that we just done. So, and what I want to do is I kind of want to bring it like as far in here. Just like that. I'm just going to, I haven't used this in years. So when we get to the end, I'm gonna 
literally go over where the white line ends so both eyes are done this is from wet n wild i only have a few products of this but i will admit it is pretty good it's just like a pencil and i'm gonna go over the white line literally just like right over the white line kind of intensified a little bit more. and we're gonna blend this out in a sec so it doesn't matter how messy you get intensify that wing a bit pink little glitter i got it from arts and crafts i'm just gonna get this small little brush i have i'm gonna put a bit of the glitter glue on like the back of my hand first put it on my eye and then i will blend that in it's a really nice purple i'm just getting the back of my brush i'm just gonna be putting glitter is on the eye done i'm gonna use the nars foundation i haven't used this in years no not that long i'm exaggerating but i haven't used this in a while so i don't know if it's gonna be that great i already primed my face before and i like actually applying it with a spoolie and then i will go over it later with oh it actually looks really good on I usually apply it with this first um, and then I'll go over it with a blending brush. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. Okay I'm back and yes I have black on my nose. I just used this um, Libra Professional Cosmetics and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I just kind of carved it out and I have done it a bit uneven, but that's, I guess, what you do. And I'm just going to quickly use, um, so I just kind of very roughly going with this Anastasia palette. I'm going to go in the darker shade and I'm just going to be filling that in. So now I'm going to start carving out the cheeks and I'm using the same eyeshadow and brush. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead, just like that. Okay. So now that's done, I'm going to go in with the back of the, with the chocolate bar and I'm going to go in with peanut butter. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of blend everything out. This is like a bit of a darker. I'm going to mix it in with truffle actually. Um, and we'll go in with the lighter shade. This Morphe blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. I just don't want it as harsh. Go back in with the truffle. I'm just like kind of putting the product on there and then I'll be going over with a bigger blending brush. Um, I just think it's easier to do it that way. So this is a really good blending brush by Zoeva. You can kind of start using that because this has no product on it. Okay, so I kind of changed it up and I went in with the color Saturn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I kind of like the way it looks more. So I'm just going to be doing that on the other side and I'll show you how I blend everything. And now I'm going to get a big blending brush like I had before the Zoeva. And I'm going to kind of like 
blend everything because I kind of want it to look a bit more seamless and like have a bit more of a gradient that's why I kind of needed something a bit more harsh lastly I'm going to go in with the color Eden it's a pink and I'm just going to kind of like Just put that towards the ends. Now we're going to blend everything out. Okay, now because I want it to be a bit more glittery, so we're going to get some more glitter. Oh, and I am going to be using these cal Calito. I don't know. I'm going to use these lashes. I'll list them down below. I don't know how to pronounce them. So I don't really want to attempt and then be wrong. But that's how they look like. And they look pretty cool. So I'm going to pop these on. But just before I do that, I'm going to go in with... Oh... I'm gonna go in with this white shimmer and I'm just gonna be placing that on top of everywhere that I've wiped. Going over. Stay tuned to the end. Okay, so like I said, I'm going back in with this white shade, this white shimmer, and I'm gonna literally just put that everywhere. I just put the glue. Okay, guys. So I just went in with um, more of a, I went in with the white and then with this little silver one. I just feel like the silver one looks a bit better um i put on some lashes and i kind of like go hard out but because a lot of them fall like that okay so so far it's looking great i think okay so now what we're gonna do because I did say this is like a half skull, half knot skull. We're gonna just get some more of that glue. And I'm just gonna be putting that under my eyes. Like it's not that, um, like I'm not doing it so precise any sense just try to stay in the circle I mean the, oh my god I can't even talk in the triangle so this ended up being a one now that we've got that color on let's go in with some red Oh, actually, this is more like a fuchsia. Just gonna come in closer so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Putting that there. Lips. <sighs> Alright, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna line them with this silver lip liner. Okay, so now that I've lined them, I'm going to put only a little bit of gloss in the middle. So, I'm just going to take this glue again. This glue has been our best friend. Thank you, Essence. Mm -hmm. And I'm just literally going to be putting that in the center. Like that. Okay, 
okay and i was thinking to go in with this like purple this sorry purple oh my god i can't talk it's like a um all right guys um my camera died i'm really sorry oh, okay so as you can see i put a bit of um this color in the middle thinking of putting a little bit more so just getting rid of the glue gonna put some there and then so this is the final result This is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed my Halloween look. It is very different to anything I've kind of seen. So let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you want me to do any more. I actually really enjoy doing this video. So give it a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.